就是。I'm alive. Three, yes. Did did you forget to mark it? <laughs> well, you should hear me counting sometimes. <laughs> We're doing math. <laughs> giving it a few minutes just to make sure and nothing's breaking <laughs> I mean yeah but you know oh I mean I'm not capturing any of fucking roll 20 at this point so OBS should be fine I don't know <laughs> I should say it's. I should say it's not catching Firefox for some reason. It really does not like Firefox. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Okay. See so yes. Oh god, there we go. I'm gonna. Right, we should tell people we're live, huh? <laughs> yeah, probably. Do we need to tell anyone? Well, considering notifications oh. are a little weird. I mean, I guess frog. I could nice. Mm -hmm. I guess whoever else who I got, I don't know. Not anybody. Oh yeah, Angela's boyfriend and boyfriend sister, doll sister. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try to contact my boy. There's a question. Do you want my perspective that has all the character stats? <laughs> or um, I don't know what. Yeah, Anna's if you could send me. I don't know what Anna's perspective looks like, to be honest. Well, I'm looking at Anna's right now, and it's just the the PNGs. Oh. Okay. PNGs and whatever uh, picture we have. Oh dear God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, which is row twenty, but I'm still trying to figure out how to put chat by itself in all that yeah. jazz. That is a uh, a mystery. Does be solved later. <laughs> yeah, I have not any of that that I would like, but you know. The stats are fine. <laughs> Thank you. I will copy. And if she joins, she joins. If she don't, she don't. Yep. Oh, yes. That's my perspective. It's just the PNGs are talking, so everyone can see who is talking, which is really nice. Ah, wah, 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 wah. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice for it, though. I need this. You know, one of these games, I'm gonna type shit out where I can actually discern what I need to do. <laughs> Instead of just all being like blanket text, just. You know. Blank text! Blank text! <laughs> Embolden things, underline things. One of these days. <laughs> Today is not that day. Anyway. I believe Many. we are good to go. Are my levels okay? Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna check everyone's stuff. 
I mean, always I, have to ask. I mean, I'm kept, I'm capturing Discord as a whole, so I just adjust your levels in Discord as I need to. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Ah. Okay. Uh, it's not the time to be flipping out. Thanks, Tom. Okay. We are good to go. So. Last we left off, this broken gang. Oh, Heracross has escaped. Okay. <laughs> so that's the last off with this broken gang. Well, exploring the town of Nidra a little bit. Witnessing its construction as it begins to grow a little bit. Converse with a few of the uh, people you have met along the way. <laughs> met new people as well. Old acquaintances had an old ch had a little chat. And uh, a pretentious elf got a swift kick in. Nope, that was in prison. <laughs> but he did <laughs> fall on his face <laughs> <laughs> while trying to throw his weight around <laughs> you slither it wasn't much <laughs> you slither of which he's been told many times his weight his name means nothing here <laughs> however uh, after some time you have been asked by Samuel to clear out or to at least explore this old road that supposedly leads further into the nation into the uh, continent which is the only road to this town but as you begin your journey it is mother nature has taken some of most of it back it's not difficult to follow, but it does take a little extra time. At one point in your journey, you were all ambushed by these strange twisted wolves that were spewing, that had acid in their fangs. Every bite sent a burning sensation through you. You did battle with them, finish off the last of the wolves, and that's where we left off. So, what is it you will do? Oh God. Mm. All the wolves are all dead. Well, basically... We just keep going? Because of a certain someone who wants to hunt? <laughs> yes. <laughs> when you say keep going, keep going where? I have no idea. I'll be on the person who wants to hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if we're going to keep moving, I would suggest we go not the way that we came in. <laughs> so let's just keep heading whatever way the road is taking us. Okay. The moment. Follow the road. Follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> I mean yellow dirt road, but you know. It's more of a grassy road at this point. Is it yellow grass? No. <laughs> the yellow grass? Yeah, it could be the yellow grass road. Yellow grass road. Sure. It, it may be fall, but it ain't that, that close to winter yet. <laughs> Uh, uh, can I just get a quick survival check for whoever 
is leading. Quick, uh, quick survival? Yep. Oh, that's not my sheet. What did you do? <laughs> survival, I only have a one. <laughs> <laughs> not me! <laughs> I got a four. Am I the one we're holding? <laughs> I have a four as well, so I could help you. Uh, maybe. That's a thing, right? Yes, helping is helping a thing. Helping is a thing, but remember, you have to roll your own if you're helping. Oh, okay, so just roll, just normally roll? Yep. Like, the survival check? All yep. right. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, then, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think she needs, I don't, I don't think she needs help. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't want my help. <laughs> <That's> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, what I'm hey, gonna get my natural funny. twenty on. It's that's always gonna be no. It's always the first roll of the game to get a natural twenty, and then it goes fucking downhill. And it's like a roller coaster. It goes up and then down, and then it kind of goes back up again towards the end. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> so that's gonna be on me. Poor Christian. Do you have the little Wheaton curse? Well, it's just like you know, it's because I didn't do it first. That's why. But anyway. <laughs> Now, Sarah, you, uh, as you begin to make your way, you can notice, like, the, as you begin to move forward, you notice the wolves also came from this direction, but they also did, they came from this direction for a bit before branching off. At least the wolves that were ahead of you. Uh. It's, uh, it, <clears throat> you can see, like, little, like, drips of acid have been left behind as they came, came along. Um, she'll look at the group as we're moving in, moving that direction, and just would point out where the wolves came in on the road towards where we were. Just that's where they came from. This is the path they took. So they must have heard us coming or something. Because they definitely weren't running from something. <laughs> so. Jenna looks at the group. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Just wondering, uh, so those wolves, uh, are wolves normally like that? You know, oh. the, the acid and the attacking and the... At least I don't remember them being like that back during the campaigns, so... No, wolves are, don't generally spit out acid. Or, you know, throw out acid. I don't think so. Okay, good. I know I, I wasn't... I didn't pay that much attention in school, but I, I'm sure I didn't mess it up that badly. Um, we didn't okay. pay attention enough in school. <laughs> uh, Sister Mary, I am so sorry. I should have paid more attention if I had known wildlife could be this dangerous. <laughs> he just puffs his chest out. I was like, okay. Well, if animals are going to start spitting acid and other monstrous substances, then I best, I guess we best be... Uh, Paying attention. Don't know if birds are going to start falling out of the sky and exploding upon impact. Sears is going to face palm. He's, 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 <laughs> like, he's going to start like attend. He's going to like be half paying attention. Like he's like following the group and everything, but he's going to be like staring at the sky, actually expecting something to come out of it <laughs> and strike upon the group with some elemental bullshit. <laughs> So, what is your course of action? <laughs> of this new screen you're seeing, it's a, it's all the character stats.
definitely could use some cleaning up here and there, but what, it's whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. I'll do it bet in between. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what is? <sighs> <laughs> I'm going to say after about an hour walking, maybe an hour and a half, uh -huh. the is just going to kind of look at the rest, like look over her shoulder, make sure everyone's following her. Just kind of sigh and be like, okay, who in the hell let me lead? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I leading? <laughs> Seems to know what you're doing. Uh-huh. Ork is going to give her a very confused look and say, why not you? I don't see the like... problem here. There's always a problem with letting long raid fighters first. <laughs> In case we're jumped again. <laughs> yeah. Well, you seem to know well what you're doing. It's true. Uh, I've, been on aerial, I've been on aerial lookout this entire time. It's very difficult to do, to do that in the front. I will say, luckily though, like keeping those birds in check, none of them have been spitting out fire just yet. So, very important job back here. Yeah. <laughs> she looks at Victoria. It's just like I think I found the look on her face is I think I found someone who's nerdier than you. <laughs> Saying something. <sighs> but, um. So, here, here comes my next question for you, for you guys. Just passing time here. Where do you think this, this road is gonna lead us out? Town? City? Nowhere? That's the wrong concept. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see when we get there. Did I mention that geography was also a study, uh, 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 something I didn't study much in school? <laughs> you weren't really the brightest one in school, were you? I was more interested in the gardening club, personally. Good. <laughs> That's good. Club. Yes. I was also particularly good at the morning and evening prayers. Oh, if you'd like to know more about uh, these different religions that there are, I, I did pay attention. I did pretty good in that. I think I got a B plus in that class. So I'm more curious about the gardening portion of it. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, I lost much of my green thumb during the war. Not much uh, opportunity to, uh, as you might imagine, be able to plant uh, when there's so much healing to do. But you know what? I used to be able to plant these very beautiful looking lilies. But unfortunately, uh, well, I don't know where they are anymore. The last time I went to where they were, they were burned down during a battle. So I'll find them one day. But yeah. Can always plant new ones? Of course, once I finally settle down somewhere. <laughs> yeah, perhaps it'll be here or back there in new town we'll see yeah perhaps i'll start another gardening another garden yeah. want to find you for a gardener yes well you know plants don't cower in fear at your size they kind of just do what they do and i appreciate that they go at their own pace true very true. Uh, personally, I'd love to own a tavern. <laughs> Just get that. <laughs> Be nice. Nice source of income. Oh. 
that sounds delicious. Get all the free ale you want. Not the point I'm trying to make, but yeah, I guess. Yes. Yeah. That is a fantastic idea. If you need assistance with it, just call upon me. So long as I get a free drink or two, I'd be more than happy to help. Well, if we find a place, maybe, maybe it'd make a good setup. You know, if we have enough coin to buy the pra- buy the place and start it up, or keep it afloat. Oh, we could also get sake, and we could also get lager and cider. Ooh, cider would be really good, actually. Oh my and there's a good stew, actually, that I think would go great with it. Oh, man, I can imagine it now. It's like slightly <laughs> drawing a little bit, like thinking about it. Well, I know we got one winner there. Uh, what about the rest of you? She looks at Victoria. I pretty much already know a couple things about you, but uh, let's chat. Why not? While we're walking. Uh. Why not? Future plans. Future uh, dreams. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. I haven't really thought about going down anywhere just more of I'm pretty sure you have a general idea of what I'm talking about but not yes really. yes <laughs> that's where that's I got right now we'll see where life comes to me Right. Just at this moment, Asir is just gonna kind of look at the one person who hasn't said anything. <laughs> <laughs> what? And what about you? About? Dreams, future plans, stuff of the like. Yeah. To get rid of certain thorns uh, at my side. That's about it. Care to elaborate a little bit more? What kind of thorns? Nope. Okay. Azira is going to look at Auric and go, okay. So thorns. When you hear thorns in your side, what do you think? Oh, thorns. You know, I used to grow roses in the garden as well. The thorns of those are rather prickly. And especially, oh, if you go into the woods sometimes, when I think of thorns in my size, I think of the bramble bushes. They stick into your, stick right into your rib. And then every time you try to get them off, oh, look at that. There's another one right there. And it's on your hand, too. And he, uh, he looks down towards, uh, he looks down towards the uh, the the side, right? Just like kind of now, like he was eyeing the sky. Now he's eyeing the uh, now he's eyeing the sides of the of the road. You never know when the bushes will appear either. They prick you, but you don't realize it. Like maybe not as scary as birds on with flames, but still, it's a very much an annoyance. He uh, pats uh, Victoria on her shoulder. I totally understand where you're coming from, Victoria. They certainly are annoying, aren't they? And with that, he's now looking, he's now switching between looking at the sky and now looking at the sides of the road. <laughs> Victoria, aren't you going to say anything? <laughs> What, to his comment? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I already did. I said, sure, let's go with that. Okay. I guess they didn't transfer to my mic at the moment. Or I just didn't hear it. One of the two. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Victoria, 
he like uh, Oric is like like trying to like inch Victoria like away from the side just in case like a rogue bramble bush comes out and tries to snag her. <laughs> <laughs> and, and her being her, she's just like, let's see how this goes. Kind of, yeah. kind of. Yeah. Every time she'll he'll put her away from the side, she'll she'll wait like a minute or two and then continue like go off a little bit deliberately. Uh, and if she does orc instinctually, like even if he's not looking at her, like he'll know. He just, he just like, <laughs> he also tries to do that with Aya as well, just trepidatious, trepidatious like, eh, eh. but like you know, like, Aya is a little, little, a little more intimidating than Victoria, <laughs> so he's kind of like, <laughs> he's like, you know, maybe I shouldn't like, you know, go too hard, but you know, still kind of like, you know, just just in case, you know? <laughs> gotta be careful. <laughs> We don't want those thorn bushes taking our friends. I know, right? I mean, you, you want to talk about real thorns in your side. <laughs> <laughs> they never leave. He you empathizes. Try yeah, he's trying to keep Victoria safe and he empathizes with Aya. Although I don't think he understands quite fully what <laughs> what Aya's thorns are. <laughs> 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 Serious moment in her brain. What am I stuck with? <laughs> Who are these people? Why do they seem so... <laughs> Except for you. <laughs> what did I do in a past life to be stuck like this? Stuck with a madness, you guys. <laughs> Uh, well, um, if we're gonna keep walking, um, if anyone could assist in keeping an eye out for, let's say, some game, so we'll have some food tonight other than just rations. I would greatly appreciate it. Sure. Any particular game you're looking for? Enough to feed four people. And then you you hear the little chirp. Sorry, five. Mm. So four you people and a baby dragon. Yep. Not a problem. Happy. So, dear. Maybe, maybe a couple of raccoons. Yeah, Anything that you think would be tasty. Raccoons actually do taste quite good if you uh, roast them properly. So, yes, I actually could go for some raccoon skewers right now. Mm. I could uh, potentially work. Roll, roll well, perception see. to see if you can find anything. <laughs> Up, uh, sure. Go ahead and roll perception to see if you can spot a game worth hunting. All right. With his mighty <laughs> eyes, I guess, bulging out, he looks into the forest of nature. <laughs> 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 Oh, Jinx. <laughs> you know, no, no, no. That's you know, Monopoly that gets to go again. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. He needs one more. He needs one more six. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, just, just, to, just, let you know, he, he got a total of six. <laughs> again. Again. A lot of trees. So I many trees. my luck getting Jingyuan and Star Rail. This is what happens. <laughs> I guess I could try to roll. See if I do it any better. Maybe you can try. What perception? Yes. Please be another twenty just to wrap this joke up. Okay, that's normal. Thirteen. Looking around. Uh, there might be hints that there are a game nearby. But it seems like they're mostly avoiding these strange four people in the woods. 
<laughs> Maybe we're a little too loud. <laughs> or something. I'm is. sorry. Did you say something? Or you need something, to speak up. Or something is keeping them away. I don't know. I would like to imagine with Oryx's amazing role that his his eyes are practically bulging out of his sockets as he's trying to stare intently <laughs> for signs of life. <laughs> Those damn wolves, they must have eaten everything. I'm not seeing a single sign. Perhaps it was the birds. Or did they get stuck in the bushes too? I can't tell. Mm, everything's blurry for some reason. <laughs> did, did you remember to blink? Ah, oh, yes, thank you. Mm, he blinks. Noticeably less blurry, but still no signs of life. <laughs> Just that sigh of like, I'm gonna die out here with these, <laughs> these people. <laughs> did, I, did I mention when I first uh, was conscripted, they tried to make me a scout? Uh, you could imagine that didn't work out too well either. Um, but yes, don't worry, we'll find something. You just had to work even harder. Sigh. And um, as we're moving, can I roll a, a quick perception as well? What are you looking for? In this moment, it doesn't have to be anything big. Uh, what time of the day is it, by the way? At this point, it's like getting a little bit further into the afternoon. Maybe some some game bird or... You know, just something, something small, nothing too big. Just Go ahead. trying to see. I rolled a six too. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it goes. Hey. Yeah, hey. Not, not having an easy time. <laughs> uh. <sighs> oh, uh, looks like we're having rations tonight. Sorry, buddy, and it's just an happy chair. <laughs> just thought, uh, damn it. <laughs> oh. And someone else wants to look around, I'm just gonna keep leading us this way. This road might be our safest bet right now. We don't have a map. <laughs> you're, yeah, just, we... you're just following an old road. <laughs> an old overgrown road. Yep. And hoping to God that it takes us to some sort of civilization. <laughs> well, even if we had a map, I don't know how many of us could actually read it properly. <laughs> to be entirely honest. <laughs> Okay, so eventually you all do get yourselves ready for the night. You have to consume another one of your rations. We're down to seven rations. Yep. I would say for the sake of brevity, the night is... Well, actually, who's on first watch? 
Actually, no. I third. can do first watch. First watch is not what I want. I want second or third watch. I could do second or third. <laughs> Whoever wants to do what. Uh, or can take third watch. Okay. So whoever's on second watch, I need you to roll perception check. Twenty. 20. Dirty twenty. I rolled a sixteen. Yeah. Listening around, you start to realize it's a little more quiet than it should be at night. Um, she does a, uh, her arm, like, she jabs her arm, and, uh, Silas kind of slithers down, starts to do a perimeter uh, around the, let's just say, the camp okay. <laughs> that we have set. Um, would this be closer to the middle or end of second? This would be in the middle. Middle. Middle of your second watch, yeah. Can I roll a quick insight just to see if I can get a feeling of if someone is watching us or... No, this would be... No, I would put... No one's watching you. But you no one's know, watching us. But you do know, like, it is eerily more quiet than it should be. Okay. Like something is off. Going to Gonna just keep an eye out. Not gonna act as people are still asleep. And she's just gonna basically proc an arrow in her bow, a uh, crossbow. Okay. And just kind of keep it close by. Ready in case anything kind of out of the ordinary pops out. Fair. Um, yeah, that's all she's gonna do. Okay. Yeah. Your watch goes on, nothing comes out, but it's still rather quiet as your watch comes to an end. She would, uh, give just the, the, hey, it's weirdly quiet. Keep your eyes open and be re be ready to wake us up if anything happens. <clears throat> to our uh, orc before going in kind of once more finding a place that's a little higher up to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> As a uh, orc gets up, I guess he uh, he receives the the heads up. Nods his head and goes. Uh, Duly noted. <clears throat> Keep an eye out. And uh, with that, uh, he positions himself. Uh, there's like a, you know, perhaps like, like there's like a tree or something nearby. Kind of just like <clears throat> props himself up. Keeps an eye out. <clears throat> Sword and shield ready just in case he needs to stab something. Fair. Uh... Should he roll perception as well, or yes? All right. Are you guys ready for the next six? Here <laughs> for the third six? Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Let's go. That's not a oh. six. Okay, that's a lot better than the six. All right. Nice. But yeah, you're looking around. He got a seventeen, by the way. <laughs> yes, got seventeen. Yeah, I should say it. <laughs> But um, as you're sitting and looking around, keeping an eye out and everything, 
you you obviously know this. It's quieter than it should be. Oh, it got a lot quieter. In fact, it's even more quiet now than it was there when you first woke up. And that's when you see two large eyes just staring at you from the brush. A bit of, a bit of a distance away. Are they scary looking eyes? Very. They look like this, they look they look similar to the wolf's eyes that you faced uh, earlier in the day, but much bigger. Ah, well, with that or kind of gives sort of a, he just kind of gives like a small grin, like oh boy, as he uh, quickly gets to his feet and gives a a nice hearty. Well, everyone, we have guests. It's not even. It's not moving. It's just watching but as you get up and begin to shout that's when it disappears back into the brush mm. hmm. anything else or just that one like it's just gone uh roll perception check all right next perception let's go <laughs> okay yeah, it's 14 <laughs> slightly less. Mm, if you don't see it, mm. it seems to have went back into the brush and has gone out of sight, out of earshot. I don't like this. Mm. Did anyone wake up when I said that? I assume I was pretty loud when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you were loud, then I'm sure the other, I'm sure others would have woken up. Because yeah, you get a uh, eyes open. Hmm? I do apologize for the wow. sudden interruption. Yeah, However, we did seem to have um, some, or a guest. They went back into the forest, but they seemed rather large and had eyes very similar to our friends from earlier in the day. We are being watched by something. Oh, wait. Uh, I don't know. He's still just kind of like shift the eye inside the side. So. Okay. Hmm. Don't see it for now. Okay. Not a false alarm, but I will. Well, I guess I'll be even louder next time if it decides to come back. <laughs> That's always a good plan. You'd be surprised how loud I can be. <clears throat> and with that, he kind of, he doesn't sit down, but he's just kind of like, you know, relaxing just a little bit. <laughs> he kind of, can you keep a look around the perimeter? Yeah, you don't see any sign of this wolf or any other wolf. But you know it was close. And you know it could have pounced if it wanted to. Or considering that the wolves from earlier did pounce when you got close, you're surprised this one didn't. Yes, I agree. That, that is very strange. <laughs> he, he probably feared my mighty muscles and my shining scales. Probably scared the shit out of him. Okay. Interesting. Well. Sure is, like... Oh god, I'm tired. Um, was you saying it like canine eyes or just wolf eyes? As I stated before, it very much looked like our friends that we faced earlier, but much bigger. Mm. Much bigger, much bigger. Okay. Um. Well, 
considering it ran when, uh, assuming when when you woke woke us up. <laughs> um, it was probably curious, not because it would have. Assumedly, if it was hungry, it would have attacked before us waking up after you giving us the warning. Perhaps. It's all strange either way, considering, especially yeah. considering how quiet it is. But perhaps it just ate everything else instead. So as long as we're not the next meal, though perhaps it could have shared some of the meals out there with us, mm -hmm. uh, we should be okay then. But like I said before, I'll give another heads up if it decides to come back in seconds. Shira's gonna look at, at Xylus, who's <laughs> sound asleep still. He's gonna go over, wake him up, and give him the command of keep watch. And she just <laughs> like god damn it. Okay. You get to sleep. I don't you can sleep later. <laughs> so Xylus will be up keeping watch for the rest of the the watch with uh with Auric. In case. And the share is going back to sleep. <laughs> as as little Xylus comes down for the for the watch or very happily welcomes his friend once again. Mm -hmm. Ah there, little friend. Your chivalry is large. I respect it. Alright then, friend. <laughs> you look in that direction. <laughs> and I'll look in this one. <laughs> when you say that direction, he looks in the exact opposite direction. Like, just that. He seems more angry that he's been woken up to keep watch again. <laughs> he seems a little grumpy. <laughs> mm. Orca uh, sees he can dig up like some of his rations. Like, would you like some? And just like... You show you you show him the ration, and he just eyes open up like yes, like you you hear happy chirp like food. <laughs> <laughs> Eat up, friend. <clears throat> if you can't get your energy through sleep, you might as get it through. Might as well get it through your stomach. <laughs> or just nice. or, or, or expends an extra ration just to be. <laughs> What is this? How to like, bribe a dragon? Uh, it's, it's working, so. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it gets. He he will happily take the ration and and mm. listen to the. Okay, I'm. I gotta look this way. Okay. How to bribe a dragon by Oric? <laughs> how, uh, how to successfully? Bribe a dragon <laughs> by Oric. I think that's what you meant. <laughs> you're book, you are actually right. <laughs> yeah, it's just like successfully. It's like it's just like it's just like written above the title with a little arrow put in. <laughs> in <between. laughs> How to and bribe. <laughs> so, anything else for my watch or? Nope. It goes by. Still quiet. <laughs> Eerily so. Awesome. Alright, well, if that's the case, uh, it's Victoria's turn, right? She taking last watch, or? Oh, well, she is. Her watch also goes by without an issue. Nice. So in the morning, when the sun rises, everyone's waking up. You can all hear just how quiet the woods are. It's just a very eerie feeling about it. It's like all the birds decided, no, we're gonna shut up. 
<laughs> we Audi. There was no angry squirrels this morning. <laughs> It's in the morning. Much silence. Much well. <laughs> Personally trying to figure out what in the heck could have big wolf like eyes that would have run away. <laughs> Trying to figure this out. <laughs> Can't. That's a good question. That's a very good question. <sighs> can can I roll anything to see if that sparks a memory? Roll a nature check. Gonna be a straight roll. Let's see. Nope, that's a two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the uh, fuck no are you playing? <laughs> Is this a kazoo? It's, it's the a kazoo of the Valkyries. Kazoo of the Valkyrie. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you were paying attention. <laughs> yeah, Please keep going. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't have any. This is, I don't see any force. No, that's a boss fight. That's quiet, anyways. You said you're really quiet, right? Yes. <laughs> so what better music than no music? <laughs> oh no! Actually, I got I got a better one. This should do for her eerie music. Anyway. <laughs> what is your plan as you awaken? Sarah's gonna look at the group and go, okay, who wants the lead today? <laughs> Orc slightly mishears this here and goes, oh, you're leading again today? <laughs> Wonderful. You were a great leader last time, so I approve. I could try to lead to a good extent. Give you a little break. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just the just just for today because Xylus needs to sleep and I need to carry him so he can sleep. Just a little longer. Um, but I I would love just I'll I'll help out if you need help. How's that? Um, yeah. So, do I need to roll anything? Uh, roll me survival. Alright, let's see how this goes. Seventeen. You managed to keep everyone on the right track. For I did something right with the direction-wise and... Yeah, you lead everyone on the right track, and the force does seem to be thinning out a bit and opening it more into a more grassy field. If I'm looking at my map correctly. <laughs> yeah, into a more open field. As you can tell, it's starting to curve towards the west. Mm 
We hit a new loading area. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do math. With distance. <laughs> oh, fun. Yeah, this is D4. Yeah. Yeah, you're starting to hit a more open grassy area, which uh, actually helps speed up your movement. Because I, uh, while you're going through the forest, you're moving at half speed and all the foliage. But now that you're in a more grassy area, you can kind of you can pick up the pace a little bit. But as you leave the forest, as we can tell, it's like, oh, you can hear the sounds of the wildlife again as you're leaving the forest. Oh, that's a better sound. <laughs> oh, so much kind of loud. <laughs> the birds suddenly came back to life, you know? Yep. Let me see here. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, you're coming... You're entering a grassy field, and you can see the, the road. It's not as overgrown here as it used to be, or as it, as it was in the forest. There's still grass, but it's... You can clearly see where the road is as you follow it along. For the next few hours or so, it does look like you're approaching a already pre-established road. And everyone's gone. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's disappeared. And everyone's BRB. Oh no. Well, oh. I heard oh no. Why is there an oh no? <laughs> There's a lot of oh no's. I don't know. If only, if only you were here, you could have known. It's too late though. It's too late now. Are we dead? No. Oh no. <laughs> I'm just, uh, you, in case you missed it, you have left the forest and entered a little a more grassy field, and the sounds of the wildlife have pretty much returned. Just a sigh of relief. <laughs> did you, did you know, hear the birds? There's a lot of birds now. What other, uh, uh, Jason, whatever the animals can we hear besides birds? I mean, birds are the most abundant, and there's also other insects. You can definitely hit the insect sound. Kind of. <laughs> what are it the... works. <clears throat> so, what is it? Uh... <clears throat> you do eventually. Oh, let me. I can do math again. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray, math! I'm just doing a. General math is Asian approved. It's, it's less math and more just trying to get a general direction of your route because it's not because I don't have it marked. 
Boo. Cartography is for Europeans. Boo. <laughs> Dang, cold. Those guys thought they made it to Asia when it was actually America. Boo. <laughs> Yes, okay. But I will say for the next couple of days of travel, literally, <laughs> nothing jumps out at you. And there's, uh, you see a couple of uh, game here and there if you were going to hunt it. Mostly elk and deer. Yo, send the hunt. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't. Oh, I'll just say you don't have to mark off a day of rations for the two nights. <laughs> just to kind of speed things along but you do eventually reach what looks to be a well established road like a well traveled road what's the dirt or what's the road made what's the road made out of it's dirt Oh, no stone. Nope. Bad. So it can't be near like a city or something. Did you say a better roast than that? Not near a major city, no. Okay, right and the boonies. Is there like if we're on this road, do we see anybody? Like any other travelers or? Uh, you know? At one point, you do see a cart approaching from the north. Or what would be the north in this aspect? Just a single horse, uh, horse-drawn carriage, with what looks to be just a, uh, just a man just guiding the cart along. Almost doesn't even take notice of the four of you standing there as he approaches. Well. As soon as he gets close enough uh, to be an earshot of us, um, Orc will do his thing. He'll raise his hand in a friendly gesture and go, Hello! How are you doing today, sir? <coughs> he kind of looks up from his... from the, looks up from the road. And, kinda, and looks like... It's a human man, probably in his 50s. He's like, ah. what, what, what? What the fuck is this? What happened? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Christian. Fuck was that? <laughs> Christian, why did you open that? No, it was on wombat noises. I had wombat noises going in the background. <laughs> That's <laughs> definitely not a wombat. I was SpongeBob. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Holding, it was... a, holding a picture of a VTuber. I just saw the freaking... scary, but see, no, look, I can prove it. See, it was wombat sounds. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Anyway, human man in his, it looks to be in his 50s, kind of parks up and looks up. He's like, ah, hello there. What can I do for you? Yes, hi. Um, So, we're new to the area. Uh, we uh, come from further down south, I guess. These points behind where they've been. And uh, we were just wondering, uh, since we didn't really have a map, uh, uh, there was uh, any nearby villages or towns or even cities, dare I say, nearby settlements that we could maybe uh, reach. Would you happen to know? He kind of looks like, well, I'm heading off to Duncaster, which is about another few hour travel from here. Duncaster, is that a, is that a town? It's a small town. Interesting. Down the road here, okay. Uh, anything from where you were coming from? Yeah, unless you're interested in a mountain city or mountain town, 
further, usually further back that way. It'll take you a few days to get there on the road. Interesting. Okay. Well then. At least we know now. He's looking at everyone else. Got a town closer down that way. Points back where the man was pointing, Doncaster, and then there's another one further up. What do you think? Let's stop at the, the smaller town first. Why not? Let's All right. Wait, we kind of see a Sierra kind of look first, but second, confused, like, which way was he pointing? Was it back the way we came? That's the way Ulrich was or, pointing, which is an old road. <laughs> the way he pointed where he said he's coming from is the mountain town, which is behind him. He's pointing to the to the one ahead is Duncaster, where he's headed. He kind of looks yeah. at you okay. all. He kind of looks at you all. like, I didn't know there was anything down that old road. Oh, um, they're just starting up a new town. That's that's the thing it's hasn't been there for <laughs> kind of see her look around like Did we get... it, it's fairly new fairly new <laughs> huh. all right then so if you can give it a shot and if you can make it way make your way down there you know maybe we got some good trade down there if we just got we just got out of the town to see what was up this road. Well, the smell of the seas to die for. Not literally. It's like, well, uh, on to smell the sea, it could just continue further on onto Mammoth Port, but, you know. Oh, so there's another place beyond the uh, Duncaster. Okay. Hey, you got the whole damn region ahead. What region are we in, may we ask? He can looks at you confused for a moment and he's like, you don't know where you are? No, my map was destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> I think I accidentally I was... burned mine a while ago. <laughs> you see her? I was kidnapped <laughs> and then found my way up this way. <laughs> Please tell me where we're at. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's like you're, it's like you're only... Eastern side of the syndicate. Okay. Right. Actually, the border is not too far away. But the syndicate? Yeah, that's what I said. Ah, I see. What's the syndicate? <laughs> <sighs> oh boy. You know what? <laughs> Just for Auric's sake, I want to. I want a history check. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you want that, but sure. Oh, I want it. <laughs> I I leave to go food on come back. <laughs> it's an eight. <laughs> okay, so the syndicate. You what, what? Okay, common knowledge. The syndicate is a entire region on like the southern end of the the southern side of this continent. But it's like also across the sea from the empire. <laughs> So it's an island? It's not an island. It's more of a... How can I explain this? It's like a chunk of landmass. Like, uh... I don't, I don't actually know the, the type of landmass this is. I don't think it's a peninsula, but... Because <laughs> it's too big for that. Uh... It, it, when, you when, you see, when you see when you, when you finally see the map you'll you'll know what I'm talking about okay <laughs> look Auric has an eight in intelligence all right he don't know shit and he hasn't really been out of the empire so <laughs> yeah he, he, not too much he's because it's a guy the border of Koyomi is not too far that not too far to the east here Oh, I know where Koyomi is. Okay. He's like trying to really triangulate where we are now. He's like, uh, Pretty much in the um, opposite end of the continent that you're from. 
Pyrrr. Okay. Ouch. That. Okay. I think I got it. You all right, there, buddy. Uh, I I'd like to say yes, but unfortunately, it, I can I tend to overwork myself uh, in the cranial region, a little bit. <laughs> uh, I'm, I I kind of failed geography class, so. So you gave yourself a headache. Yes, headache. That's the word. Did I also mention that I I never was the best in uh, in biology either? And yet you said the cranial region. Just, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh well, I actually did quite well in common. Languages wasn't. I was okay in that. I got to be in languages. <laughs> <laughs> just looks like Headache. Like, where yeah, are that's you, where are you from? Uh, who? It's <laughs> just just all of you in general. I'm not over here. <laughs> <laughs> I am a very long way from home. <laughs> I'm not too far off. Uh, hold on. I'm sorry. L let me think again. Mm. Yes. So I am from the Empire, uh, which should be, and he kind of, he's thinking, he's think he's kind of pointing in a assumingly westward direction. <laughs> he's kind of tenses up slightly. He's like, hey, that you're, way? you're an Imperial folk. I oh yeah I suppose that I have been told been called that before. <sighs> yes, yes I am. Let me specify. I'm from Brenia. I'm very far away from home. That you are. If you're from across the damn ocean. Mm-hmm. Wait, Brenia's I... on the other side of the ocean. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I am too from the Empire as well, but I don't really associate with them that much. Right. So. Best to keep, can I keep that under wraps? Yeah, anyway, I gotta get my shipment moving. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, safe travels to ya. And to you. Kind of grabs the reins and gets his horse moving again. Says he's heading now, or it's just gonna wave his hand goodbye and go, Thank you so much for your help! Safe travels! He just gives a wave from his cart. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. Um, I sort of forgot where we are again. Send, send something? Send, 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 the, send the kit. East of the Sin Syndicate. The Syndicate, east of, yeah. You're on the east, east of the Syndicate. You're on the eastern end of the Syndicate. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Okay. So we better find a map soon, because I I can already feel my mind sort of not wanting to figure this out anymore. Well, we just finished up our first task. Um, we know the direction where we are, and we know of two other towns. We were just told to go up this road and see what was up here. Hmm. Do and then we have the next town, but we have no cash. No, let's just see what's here and turn around and tell what's going on. It'll be easier so we can get paid. Then we can go to the next town and get a map. <laughs> and some good eats. Yes. Always good food. Sounds like a wonderful plan. I gotta remember when we get back to town to get some more salts. Ugh. Okay. Well, let's, um, what's around us? 
It's just the what's around us. Let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you begin making your way back to town. This is coming from character who's having a slight crisis of the, oh shit, I am really far away from home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> yeah. I'm in an area that I know nothing about at this moment in time. <laughs> As uh, I, I guess I guess as everyone is getting turned, again, this is turned around to go head back. Uh, or it's gonna look down towards Aya and uh, just inquire. And it's like, uh, hey, so uh, I didn't realize that you were also a fellow uh, a fellow citizen. I choose to keep that more quiet. Why would you want to keep it quiet? There's nothing wrong with the Empire. Well, nothing to... Okay, well, m perhaps the statement <laughs> needs to be revised. Uh, <laughs> nothing too wrong. No nothing... Well, okay, this doesn't make any sense. Why, why would you hide it? Can't be that bad. Oh, a few wars, but you know. Wars that involve killing the innocents. Getting involved with the other nations I didn't want to get involved in the first place. Mm, I suppose, but ultimately, death and also and also letting the archbishop do whatever he wants. Well, what's wrong with the archbishop? I've only been told good things about him. He likes puppies. Okay. Who doesn't? How could how could a person who likes puppies be bad? Well, okay, actually, wait. There was that one guard. Mm, I guess he did like puppies too. He was not a good person. <laughs> Perhaps I need to revise that statement again. You are slightly <laughs> better if you like puppies, but but that's great though. We can always talk about things back home, you know. And I'm sure apparently you've been through some hard, hard times, but there's a, there's a lot of good things to talk about. The drinks are good, you know. The music is fine. And, uh, some very pretty places to look at. Have you ever been to, uh, he just kind of just rattles off a couple places, I guess. The tourist spots. Pretty cool, right? Not really. Oh. oh I'm sorry to hear that. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's, like, nervous. He gets like, uh, how do I connect with this person? Uh. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm guessing Ori could tell there is an air of nobility from Aya right now. Yeah, I I mean, probably maybe a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I'm, maybe I, it might be better, like, Oric has dealt with nobility before, mm -hmm. right? At least a few times, and so he could kind of sense, I guess, like, the aura, I guess, maybe, of it. There's nothing right. really good with the Empire if you're a loyalist. Well, I suppose there could always be something in such things as too loyal. I mean, I, I did leave the service as well, so I do understand. But uh, hey, cheer up. It's a big place. There's a lot of people. And uh, if nothing else, we, we are in uh, this new place, Provide, or Provide. Pro Pro Provid providence so yeah yeah not too bad I right guess. i guess but we have no money <laughs> well as soon as we get back to town we were supposed to get some right supposedly mm, bit of a downer huh i am not a happy person well, no worries. He gives he slaps eye on the back, heartily. Ow! I, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, kind of like pats it. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> and he does like a lighter tap, like pat on, the, on our shoulders. Mm -hmm. But I have enough energy for us both. Good times ahead. Good times ahead. <laughs> we can always get a drink, right? Or I don't yeah. really drink alcohol. He like 
he, he, he does that thing where he like like grabs Aya and like pulls her to uh, pulls her to his side, doing like that side hug with his arm. Assumably, she's small enough to do that. <laughs> he is five foot six. Yes, <laughs> he is. She is small enough where he can do that. Uh, nothing but fun adventures ahead of us. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Okay. I, I don't really drink. <laughs> Orc is not listening to this one. He's just imagining getting back to town and getting a drink. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> He's just, like, coming to him so like, <laughs> Okay, then. <laughs> what are the other two doing? Well, one is having a crisis because of the, I've never been to this side of the world. I am so not happy right now. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, oh, wait a minute. We also got to remember to get, uh, we got to see if we can find two, two large deer or something. Because I'd rather make sure that we save some rations before we go. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> oh, hunting me, we go. Hunting me, we go. I have to be here. Oh. Raccoon. Raccoon with rabies. Because remember, everything tastes better as rabies. Everything tastes better with rabies. <laughs> we don't need the giant dragonborn getting rabies, guys. <laughs> Look, toss on a stick not? with rabies because everything tastes better as rabies. Yeah, the bright side, he would know how to treat it. <laughs> yeah, the bright side, he I hope <laughs> before he goes and bites us all. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess, yeah. Hold on, do I have a spell that he knows with illness? Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, <Hold> no. <on. laughs> <laughs> you have lots of restoration? It's probably not prepared. <laughs> do I have that prepared or not? That's up to you. I do. I do. I do. Okay. <laughs> We're okay. <laughs> but we can't eat things with rabies, guys. <laughs> well, unless I get rabies first, and then you guys are kind of screwed. Oh, yeah, then we're screwed. Maybe choke it air. <laughs> Yeah, Best you, you're gonna... oh, yeah, guys. We, we 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 can definitely eat rabies. Rabies are fine. We can definitely eat it. No problem. No problem. We'll be, be fine. All right. So I guess we we should be looking for some. I guess we should go hunting then first before we really start heading back. Yeah. Yes, we should. I remember. I remember. Our DM did tell us there were some deer around earlier. So clearly, we got some fair game to hunt here. This time we gotta make sure we bring a couple of pelts back with us. Make it worth, make it worth it. <laughs> Use every part. <laughs> yeah. And if we can save the antlers, people can use this. I see. They make good trophies. People buy them. People use them for ointments and salves. I believe certain certain dog breeds use it as chews. That might be good for him. <laughs> Points to Xylus, and Xylus is just... What? <laughs> Has a stick in his mouth? <laughs> I don't chew, you chew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm What's not a, a dog, for? you're a dog. <laughs> What's a chew, you? <laughs> oh. But yes, right. we, sh we should. All yep. right, let's go into hunting mode then. Hunting mode. Mm. All right, mm -hmm. so if whoever's hunting, just roll a survival check. Why not I... have everybody hunt? Here. Mm, <laughs> no. I mean, we're all working as a group. So, if everyone's hunting. <laughs> Who has the highest survival again? Not me. I mean, I got four. You got four, I got four. Does anyone have higher than a four? No, nope. I got a three, but I'm just gonna- I have a one. <laughs> yeah, right, okay, right, okay. I ain't hunting. <laughs> I don't really have the survival for it, so. I'm gonna try. 
Yeah, I guess I'll try. Then, maybe, hopefully. I think the three of us who are going to actually be hunting are going to try. <laughs> Why not? Let's do this. Well, the last <laughs> one is holding them. <laughs> The last was just staring at us. Much <laughs> fucking crazy on these animals. Alright. He's mostly wondering why she has yet to lose her mind. <laughs> Fifteen? Alright, and then I get a... Oh, <laughs> net 20! He got the net 20! Hey! Yay! That's 24, baby! <laughs> yep, you, you all managed to find some nice deer they can... Hunt and take back with you. Yes. <laughs> can I get? Can I find like the best steer? <laughs> yeah, you find you a find big the, one. <laughs> the biggest caribou. Does it have? Does it have <laughs> it's not even a deer. I just straight up found a moose. Pretty <laughs> 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 sure that one can kill me, even with my size. <laughs> I mean, giant elk do exist. <laughs> and they are much bigger than you. <laughs> Alright, but I just found like a really big, nice, normal deer. Right? Elk, whatever. Yeah. Nah. Okay. Does, it have, does it have pretty horns? Yeah, it's got good looking horns. Nice. Okay. This <laughs> is like, it's like, it's like, I got a deer. I got a deer. And I just like... <laughs> Bam! I got the I biggest got here. I win. We weren't taking bets. I win. I win. What? I win anyways. Uh. Um. So, pelts, antlers, meat. What about the hooves? Yes, we could take those. You can use those in medicine too. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> let's let's just take what what we what what we know is useful. <laughs> Nothing goes to waste at this moment in time. Orc is about to just take the entire deer carcass whole. <laughs> just like... Yeah, good luck with that movement. <laughs> 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 No, he'll he'll just oh. he'll just do the normal cuts for all the good stuff. Antlers, pelt, hooves. Okay. Yeah, easy Meats, enough. Obviously. To do. <laughs> I would say uh, Victoria's deer would have two holes on the side of his neck. It probably look very very pale. Uh, fair enough. Are you sure you are you sure you want to take that deer? That deer looks sick. Eh, it's fine. That's good. No, I mean, the last time I saw a deer like that, it, it made everyone else sick too. I don't know. <laughs> you see, just just Asira, look look at or just it's fine. It's still edible. The meat might look weird, but it's still edible. Or looks at all the meat and everything he's packed. He's like, you know what? I'm just gonna stick to the one I got. <laughs> he's like, it tastes just... different. He's trying to be like, he's like trying to actively pack it in as much as he can without like damaging anything. Right. Like, eh, eh. He's like, you know what? Maybe I'll just take it. I'll try to squeeze an extra one in here just in case. <laughs> just in case, maybe one of them needs it because they won't be able to eat that. Sure, just looks at Victoria and is like, you did a good job. <laughs> and a smile of like, I'm happy. <laughs> Alright, let's let's get these all packed up and make sure that we at least keep what we can use. And what we know the town might be able to use too. Understood. So. He starts packing every rib and, and, and bone and, and the skull. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the skull is gonna gonna fetch a pretty price, especially from that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. Nice skull, good horns. <laughs> Yay! Now we got food. <laughs> you have food. Food. 
Food. Are we singing this? Food, food glory. glory. Food. Food. <laughs> oh. And we are now on our way. All right. Can we begin your journey back the way you came? And as you enter the woods, the eerie silence falls upon you again. I can't wait until we don't have to come back to these woods. Unless we have No, no. Because if if the thing comes out at us, we're we're gonna have a problem. Thing? Oh yeah, you didn't wake up, did you? No. Or do you want to let uh, Aya know what what you saw? Yes, of course. Um, yeah. So again, we uh, during my watch, uh, we had a friend come by to observe us. Uh, looked much like our wolf friends from earlier, earlier, except much, much larger. Much larger. So, probably not a good sign. Uh, when I tried to wake you guys up, it, it uh, decided to turn around, but we may or may not run into it again as we get back home or to town. So, just keep an eye out. Our wolf friends may uh, not want to leave us alone just yet. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I hope that old man's gonna be okay. Well, he wasn't heading down this road anyway, so... <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, he'll be fine. <laughs> as far as we're aware. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> Cue, like, horrifying cutscene where he's being devoured by the big bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's like, I really didn't want to do this, but I feel like someone jinxed me, you know? <laughs> Kinda had to. I felt compelled. <laughs> That's horrible. And yet, we know what happens. <laughs> um, oh. You know the whole thing. Be careful what you say around the DM. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like... Mimics can be the size of warehouses. <laughs> can they? <laughs> I don't know. Can they? <laughs> I mean, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, that's like a lot of stuff inside if you kill it, right? <laughs> oh, actually, better yet, tame it. And then it becomes your free mobile house. <laughs> the real question is, should it? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm not saying why not. I'm personally, I think it's a cool idea. <laughs> Until we gotta fight it. <laughs> Nonsense. We just have to feed it what it likes, other than us. <laughs> and then I'm we take and we connect with it, you know? Show how great the world can be. And next thing you know, it'll be great. It'll be friend. We'll be friends. We'll go on great adventures together. You uh, might even meet a boss. Who knows? Actually, wouldn't that wouldn't a wouldn't a warehouse size mimic be the boss? Now that I think about it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> As you're making your way back through the forest, who is leading? Ah, uh, I don't know. I think we're all just walking side by side at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I think we have somewhat a better idea where we're going. Okay. I mean, yeah, you know where you're going because, you know, you're, just, you're taking the same road that you got here with. 
Uh, in that case, roll perception checks. Light, Go. small, hearing. General perception. So, I'll, I'll say it's your choice then. <laughs> oh, okay. I do sight. One away from an astral 20. Nice. <laughs> oh, 20. And then there's Oric, 11, who's still thinking about the alcohol, man. He's still thinking. Yeah, I, look, Oric is, like, he, he's on, we're already halfway home, okay? <laughs> he's like, mm, so he's gonna be good alcohol. eats tonight. Oh, man. So good. He's focused on food. <laughs> Something about the raccoon skewers. Well, as you're all as you're all traveling, three of you notice <laughs> that there are definitely eyes on you. And as you take a quick look around, you see up on a nearby hill, there is a what Auric has described before a massive wolf-like entity with a bunch of smaller wolves. Just watching and staring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, it looks like Alcohol. our friend is up there. Yum, yum, yum. Did you say something? Look up there. Points him out. Do you come back? Mm. Uh, well, what could possibly be up there? <laughs> <laughs> looks like our friend is up there. That's much bigger than I imagined he would be. <laughs> well then. I'm, I'm guessing as long as we don't bother them. I don't know about that. It looks kind of hungry. Huh. Well, it might not be good to leave food for them in case they continue to follow us. But if we do leave them food, maybe they'll leave us alone. I don't think that's how wild animals work. I'm pretty sure if we leave some food, that will just guarantee that they will come after us because it will know that we have food. Most aren't that big. <laughs> who's, who's proficient in nature? Oh, oh, nature. Let's see. What is nature? Oh. I am one. <laughs> I said uh, proficient. I'm not asking for modifier. I'm asking for proficiency. <laughs> what? Can you have, like, anti-proficiency? Is that possible? <laughs> I don't think any of us are proficient. <laughs> yeah, I only have one <laughs> in nature. I'm good. <laughs> so I could try to put our heads together. It's <laughs> not what I was asking, but okay. <laughs> I don't want for fun, I yeah, no one. In nature. How many? Are you... I have a three in nature. Are you oh, proficient? It, I have a check mark. That means you're proficient. Yeah. That yeah, means first you're first proficient. I was like, <laughs> I should roll that. Yeah, roll yeah go nature. ahead and roll. No, no, I can't. Not this side. Uh, in, fact, no, this uh, in fact, no. In fact, no. Never mind. <laughs> not this one. <laughs> The retry? You just, you just know. No, there is no retry. <laughs> no, should everyone else try? No, I only wanted her. I only wanted whoever is proficient. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, not, no. You didn't know this one at all. You do know that this, at the very least, wolves don't typically act like this. They usually have their packs and they tend to stay away from the main roads if there's a people traversing. Or even if there are people traversing, you just kind of stay out of the way, stay out of sight. But considering how these are watching and waiting, it's not natural. She would turn to group of them. These aren't normal wolves, as we already can figure that from earlier. When the wolves don't usually stare at people going down the road. They're usually out of sight, hiding. Hmm. Oh. So what you're saying is, is we shouldn't leave food for them. Hmm. She has a small confusion look on her face. 
I'm not sure how to answer that, <laughs> considering what she said. Well, maybe when we get back to town, we have some, uh, we have, listen, we ask around about these, uh, abnormal wolves. <laughs> how about that? That would be better, just to ask. Yeah, be I agree. Better. So, but let's keep our guard up in case they try anything. Very well. I have a bad feeling about this, but no way to go but that way. Yeah, it's the only way to get our paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> With that, Orc will will take out his sword and his shield and just be ready. Because he's pretty damn sure something's going to happen. Okay. <laughs> Knowing fully well that something doesn't get that big without eating a lot of food, there is uh, there is definitely a bit of tension now. <laughs> um, making sure to have her crossbow once more propped and a arrow close to her for her short bow. Okay. Uh, uh, Sorry, her long bow. Now, I'm, as you're be as you're beginning to move and these and keeping an eye on these wolves. That means there's going to be perception checks <laughs> against their stealth <laughs> for the next few days. Bring it on! <laughs> yeah, bring it on. We're so, all on edge and keeping an eye on them. <laughs> yep. Now, bring my, it on! Of course, so my next question is, are you all going to rest at night or are you going to try to push on back to town? We gotta rest. Yeah, I feel like being oh. hasty is only going to hurt us more. Where is the exhaustion tracker? There you are! Yes, Turning yes. on. Because if you're going to push on, you're going to take a level of exhaustion each day. Yeah, exactly. A bad idea. So you want level 1, disadvantage on ability checks. Level 2, disadvantage on ability checks. And speed is halved. 3 is disadvantage on attack throws. And saving throws. Four hit point maximum is halved. Five is speed Five, is zero and six three. is death. <laughs> yep. Oh, and come you, on. We should, we should be at least get to ten before we die. Come on. And you have at least four days before you're back in town. So I would say maybe push at the last day. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Yeah, but... it, it, I would say it's so, four days the first if... Four days if you're resting. So. Yeah, so I would say rest for at least two to three days and then just book it for the last one. Okay. So, first day. Sure. First day, perception checks all around, just to keep an eye out. Oh boy. <laughs> hey! 23. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Uh, let's see here. One of the small wolves is easily spotted by everyone. Another one of the small wolves is... Also, yeah, two of the wolves are easily spotted by everyone. However, one of the small wolves and a large wolf pretty much disappeared from sight from Asira and Aya, but... <laughs> Victoria is able Oric. to see it. Oric and uh, Victoria are able to see one of the, the smaller wolf. Only Oric can keep track of the larger wolf <laughs> as it's tr as it's attempting to hide. It's very subtle, but you do take note of it. Okay then. Now what? Or oh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I I assume we're all just keeping each other updated whenever we yep. do something. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's got his eye on that wolf. He ain't going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> next day. <laughs> yep. Next day. More perception checks. I already rolled for them. So. Twenty-two. Mm -hmm. Twenty-two. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> Nice. Dude, I'm doing good. You managed to keep track of the small wolves. You've lost the big one. Damn it. 
He must have rolled well on his stealth roll this time. Motherfucker. Great, okay. We have no idea where it is. Oh, great! <laughs> That's even more great. Okay. Oh, woo. Okay, so what, third day, I guess? Can I do one more roll just to get my hit points up to maximum? <laughs> oh, you guys were taking multiple long rests at this point. <laughs> yeah, there's no point of rolling. <laughs> Alright. There's really no point of rolling. Yeah, y'all would have taken multiple long rests at this point, so your stuff would be back to full. <laughs> yeah, there was no point of me rolling because I only lost seven hit points anyway, but I just put it back to full because I feel like at that yeah. point it's just like there's no point! I only lost 7 hit points, I'm gonna hit 7 hit points anyway and getting that back. Like, even if you rolled, like, a really low on your yeah. hit points, you would've still gotten them over the pet the next few days. <laughs> yeah. I... Can I just say something before we move on to the third day? Yes. Sierra, uh, that night of the second uh, night when we're all sitting around the fire, would ask tomorrow if anyone sees the wolves. Let me know. I want to try something out. Okay. All right. Understood. Thank you. All right. <laughs> All right. Third day. Oh, well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Level really. six. Twenty. Okay, you've managed to, well, <laughs> not Aya, but the rest of you <laughs> have managed to regain sight on the larger wolf. He was trying to get ahead of you and cut you off. Not there's, on our watch. There's a cat in my window. Okay. They can wait a minute. <laughs> um, but the other three wolves, y'all lost. Except, okay, there's only one small wolf that uh, Auric and Asira can see, but the rest of them, you have no sight on them. Alright, so as soon as we clock eyes with the big wolf, I'm gonna go ahead and cast Speak with Animals, and we'll ask, why are you following us? Right. Give me one moment, I'm trying to get the cat inside. Boys, stop sniffing the window and get in here. <laughs> Don't you hate it when they do that? What are you doing? Holy crap. You smells! Yoink! Yoink! Yeah. Nope, nope, he's gone. <laughs> he didn't like the yoink. <clears throat> okay. So you can't speak with the animals and you're going for the, the large wolf? Yes. <clears throat> and as you cast a spell, you begin to speak to this massive wolf, which, as you can see now, it is more aesthetically aligned than the, than the smaller ones. <clears throat> you know, mouth still dripping with saliva and acid. You just kind of hear this guttural tone. Hunger. Pain. Alright. And so she will convey that to the rest of the group that it's just gone madness. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just like the other ones that we fought. And she's gonna. You said you said that we also saw one of the small ones. Yes, one of them. The other two are out of sight. All right, the one that we can clock. Why are you following us? Are you following your leader? You actually don't get a response from this one. That's strange. It's almost like it's 
too far gone, or something else is afflicting its mind. She's going to look at the rest of your group and go, the smaller ones, there's something wrong with the smaller ones too, so just from now on, we're going to just keep them as dangerous. Oh. Well, great. I, I thought they were the very small... friendly before. <laughs> the smaller ones, I can't even get a hold. I can't. They don't talk. Like, unlike the big one, she points him straight out. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so, yeah, so uh, there's definitely a hint of madness. <laughs> so the big one's hungry, huh? No. It, it's it's mad. It's loony, cuckoo, crazy, uh, whatever you want to say. It's it's gone. It didn't attack us probably because you scared it the first time. It wasn't expecting you. Um. But I. Mm, it almost feels like a mercy for where to take it out. Hmm. <laughs> she, hmm. she looks at everyone like, do... What do, what do you guys think? Personally, I'd like to avoid danger if possible. However... If this is the only road out, even if we avoid it now, it's not like it won't have another opportunity to strike. And I'd hate for anyone else to come out here and become this thing's meal. Especially if um, if we're trying to get some trading into the town. <sighs> Better give us some extra beer for this. Well... If the smaller ones aren't too far gone, let's try to take those pelts as well. And give at least give the big one a proper burial. And Ashira's gonna look at the other two and for a split second just kinda give them a look of you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Like, she wants to make sure everyone's ready before she fires a crossbow bolt. Sure, let's get this over with. Yeah. <laughs> so nonchalant about a giant acidic wolf that's gone crazy. All right. Stalking us. Um, how far would this wolf be from us since we can see it? It's about 50 feet away from you. He's back All in right. my window again, this little asshole. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, doesn't know where to say or be in, all right? Oh my god, no, that's what happened before, is Nutmeg kept going in and out, in and out, and then staring at Creven for like 10 minutes saying, let me in. I let him in. She's gonna fire. No. <laughs> She's gonna go ahead and fire her, like, crossbow. Okay. Go ahead and fire it. Uh, 16. 16 does hit. <laughs> Alright. So, 12 piercing damage. As she initiates that we're, we aren't playing around. <laughs> okay. Give me one. Let me, let the cat in. Uh, this is... This. It was basically the, okay, you know what? This, this is something we have to deal with now. <laughs> because what if we have, like, a sweet, older, like... A trade uh, merchant going through here. I I, I don't think Ashira would be able to live with herself. <laughs> if someone got hurt, and we had the we had the chance to stop this, you know. Orcs just concerned about you guys, but <laughs> but he understands the danger at hand. Oh yeah. Is that first then? No one else needs to get hurt. And that's exactly why she was like, well, let's get ready. I don't want to be caught with her pants down, so to say. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to BRB real quick, uh, but I got the music set up, so. <laughs> All right. Yay. Sorry, Craven, make you do extra work. No, you're fine. <laughs> 
Oh, I don't think we expected Wolf to be psychotically crazy, so... You know. We kind of already knew these wolves were normal in the first encounter. We just thought they were wolves just being weird. Yep, you know, like a dire wolf being weird, just following us. Okay, that's fine. Aesthetic wolf, not so fine. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm gonna not make the same mistake before. Cedic element. <laughs> oh, how did the bear? Hold on. For Xylus. Because that is a thing that I can choose at the beginning of the day. I've returned. What's happened? Yeah, whenever you summon it, so you could like dismiss and summon later on. So yeah, <laughs> and it's only yep. an action to summon it. So yeah, which you can only summon it once a day unless you spend a uh, spell slot. <laughs> yep. Are you gonna come in this time? Silas's eyes, instead of the normal reddish gold color, they look more emerald green. All right. Today. Hey, Rotoni, well, you want to cooperate? No. Is Rotoni starting to break for you? Just a, just a little bit. How dare you? Okay. You all place yourself in this box here. As this wolf has taken 12 piercing damage, I need to mark that off. I need everyone when they're positioned for all initiatives. Oh joy. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, the oh, that boy. one. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Roll 20. The <laughs> Nat <that> one. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen a Nat one for initiative. That's you have. uh <laughs> have I? Yeah, me remember. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Kilo did not roll well in this ship last campaign. <laughs> That's I right. Never one yeah. Okay, but to be fair, it's not like Orchestra last game got like usually high as well. I think he averaged bad an average of like nine or ten at most. <laughs> Clearly, Orcs already doing better than he was. Well, it's clear that I'm going last, and no matter what. 
Well, I mean, I think ultimately Big Wolf goes first. Is what we <laughs> defensive, evasive maneuvers, everybody. As far as we know, all the wolves go before us. Yeah, so you take a shot into it, it lets out a growl and begins to, yeah, rush towards. How fast can it move? That fast? Okay. Uh, Silas would have been right here. Okay. You get right there. Oh! Hi! <laughs> yeah, they move fast. <laughs> and it's going to immediately try to take a bite out of you, Orc. <laughs> I think an 11 misses. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Managed to evade the chomping jaws of this beast. Whoa there, friend. I don't taste good, I promise. <laughs> and from the side, one of the wolves that was hidden is now in view as it comes out of hiding, rushing in. And it can get that far. <laughs> but this one is coming in close to Aya and it's going to attempt to chomp down. There's a whoop, there's a 13 hit? Nope. 13 misses. Just kind of gets caught on your chain shirt. And it's your turn. Ah, uh, more after the wolves from every, uh, from all the wolves, right? Yeah. All of them are crazy, no. or is just the big one crazy? The big one seems crazy, but is, but you know, seems to be leading the rest of them. So they're and all crazy, it, but. And uh, Asira did say that she, even the small ones didn't reply to her, which is odd because they would reply to her as well if they had anything going on in their head. <laughs> Intelligence, yes. Um. Yeah, okay. Bonus action, throwing my echo out. I guess. Okay, where do you throw your copy? Uh... I need to make a token that's of your echo. <laughs> Because remember, you can throw it within 30 feet of you, I believe. 15. 15? 15. Fifteen feet. But it can move up to 30 feet. Okay. You know what? I am going to put an echo... It only has one hit point anyway. But... Yep, yeah, but 16 AC. <laughs> and I'm gonna tint it so that... Are you here? Hold on. Ah, here we go. Where, where'd you go? Where'd you want it? Are you here? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm trying to read this correctly with Unleashing Incarnation. If I attack, my Echo can also attack, which is kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. When, when uh, you, heighten when you... your Echo's Fury. Whenever you take attack action, you can make one additional melee attack from the Echo's position. Yep, so your Echo basically makes an attack with you. Oh, cool. So if I attack this one, it will attack the big wolf. Yep. It doesn't have to be the same target. You just make you just make an attack. Okay, cool. Let's see if I actually attack the small wolf that is attacking me. Then go for it. Habushki. Oh wait, why oh, isn't that advantage? Twenty. Twenty <laughs> hits. <laughs> Habushki. Seven piercing damage straight to it. Okay, and then my echo also attacks. 
Mm-hmm. Oh. Uses your oh. stats. <laughs> Sixteen hits. Sixteen. <laughs> seven. Yeah, seven damage. <laughs> Sir, can I help you? Well, this has minus seven and minus seven hit point for both. Woohoo! Yeah, don't worry, I got it. <laughs> That's what I call proficiency. Or efficiency. It's not me doing the whole entire. I want to go in, but I want to go out, but I want to go in, but I want to go out. His food uh -oh. dish is not probably empty. <laughs> but he Feed can... me, human! I am starving! He can wait a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where I've heard that one before. <laughs> is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. Auric, your turn. Okay. Well. Since Orcs already seems to be having the attention of the big guy, I think he's just gonna go for go for facing this one down here. Uh, yeah, I guess he'll just take a he'll just a, try to slash it with his longsword. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you do not take a slash at it with your longsword. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, is that, that, that my first nat one? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not my first nat. It's my second nat one. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Alright, guess that's it. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, it's Sira. See both in this. She is going to quickly take her long bow. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, I, I don't want to spend an <laughs> A little bit more and uh, not not get to proc an attack here. Um, she's gonna proc her long bow, and she is going to she's gonna help uh, Oric out. Okay. And is going to fire at the big guy again. Go for it. Uh, 24 plus 2. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> It'd be kind of bad if it didn't. <laughs> uh, 7 damage. 7. Back to 7. Nice. And... Gonna look at Xylus, and... He's just... He's gonna do his own thing. He's gonna walk up to this one and take a bite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go get him! Kinda, Kind of hiss and then run. <laughs> Go get him, little friend. He's gonna attempt. Uh, he 12 to hit. That's a miss. Doesn't... <laughs> That's a miss. He tries. He tries. <laughs> he, it's adorable. <laughs> and that is, that is turn. <laughs> okay. There is another hidden one that comes from the other side. And is actually going to. Sir! Feed me! That's the wrong one. Feed me! You won't stop the wolves. I won't let you. They're just hungry like I am right now. Coming for Isira. Coming for a. But you have your longbow out, so you don't have your shield equipped. I gotta keep Correct. that. I gotta keep that in mind. <laughs> uh. Coming for a chomp. Oh, boy. That's a hit. Eight piercing damage and one acid damage. Um, I should be resistant to acid. It's still because... one point of acid damage. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was like, I'm resistant. So let me ask, what do I do in this situation? <laughs> it's just one acid. <laughs> so nine points. And then make a strength save. Oh boy! <laughs> That's this natural. is the beginning. This is the beginning oh. of the end. Oh no! <laughs> it's the beginning of the end. Oh no! That's a natural one. That <laughs> we both roll natural. Great. Oh, you don't gain the resistance of your Drake until level seven. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so I still get that one point anyway. <laughs> so you one point anyway, but I'm just reminding you now, you don't get the resistance until right. level 7. So you are uh, knocked prone. 
Okay. Um, my earbuds physically cut out, and I came back into the very last sentence. <laughs> so. Okay. Glad I still popped back in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is the wolf's turn. Victoria, it is your turn. One, let's see. What? You got a there, Leo? Oh, here. It's your turn. It's your turn. Cool. To stab. Well, closest to me. Stop the closest one to you? Yeah, I'm gonna stab it with the spear that I have on me. Okay. Make, go ahead Do and make it. an attack. That does not hit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're doing so well. <laughs> uh, like, I will say, she only has a plus two to attack. <laughs> yeah. Because she has a zero a modifier ring. in strength. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I've noticed it doesn't matter what your modifier is. <laughs> you still roll one and um, it doesn't work in your favor. <laughs> I do something slightly stupid, but it's okay. Just slightly? Uh, I'm not going to say anything, but... You're done? No, I'm moving. Huh. I'm just trying to remember how far I can go for a second. I'm going to... Yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. I'm gonna see a better angle to help out. <laughs> so be it. Risky biz new! Yeah, it will attempt to bite you as you pass by. I think, yep, yeah, that's a 17 <laughs> hits. <laughs> I'm not getting very far. <laughs> And it is ah, that is nine piercing damage and three acid damage. So twelve total damage. Yeah, because I was trying to do math. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And make a strength save. Oh, those are fun. You actually stay standing. <laughs> <laughs> I can pull away from the wolf. <laughs> um, yeah, this thing is now going to. It looks like it's a, it's opening its mouth to bite at you, Auric. But then you realize it's not going to bite at you. It's about to spit acid up. Oh joy! And it's going across both you and Asira. Oh, so double they, joy. Both of you oh, no. make a dexterity save. Oh, triple joy. <laughs> so how does that work since I'm prone? Uh, I I don't think prone affects your dexterity saves. I can double check. I, I would. Yeah, I'm, Just in I'm case. Double I'm double checking, but I don't think it affects your dexterity save. No, it doesn't affect your dexterity save. Okay. It just it just affects melee attacks and range attacks. That's twenty one for my dex save. <laughs> twenty for mine. Does that mean that she's trying to roll? <laughs> she's trying to pretty much rolling out of the way. Yes. Okay. Uh, if I would have gotten a natural twenty, so could have shoved the other one in my way. <laughs> both take seven acid damage. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Okay. Not fun, but... That is half, so... <laughs> so, 15 originally. Joy. You can tell this is some thick acid that... OBS, oh, yeah, stop recording. I don't know how long... Why is Probably OBS? For a while. Why does OBS not like what I'm recording? <laughs> Do you have enough storage space? Because I yes, know it's I have plenty because I cleared it out like a couple of weeks ago. Are you using Firefox again? No, 
I'm not using any browser. It's just not. <laughs> it just like you update it. It just like yes, I did. It likes to just pause recording. I don't know why. You don't have a pause button as like a hotkey, right? No. That's I, so weird. I, I'm gonna double check that, but I don't think I do. <laughs> Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking stupid. Why did you hotkey the pause button? Well, listen, listen. I hotkeyed it when I was doing only recordings, like years ago when I was doing recordings instead of streaming. And I just never removed it. <laughs> I'm removing it now. <laughs> you dodo. <laughs> Oh, a dodo. You uh, okay. dodo. Because I, cause I, cause I, cause I, cause I do hit delete when I'm removing tokens, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I would I'm, change that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, could, I completely remove the hotkey, and it's not linked to anything anymore. <laughs> now it only pauses when I want it to. So you have to take the VOD again. Yeah, I gotta take the VOD again. It will, yeah, I definitely take them out. It really lost 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway. Uh, yeah, but this one was thick acid. That looks like it probably would have stuck to you if, if it had made direct contact. But it's its oh, turn. Yeah. The wolf is going to bite back at Xylus. <laughs> Chomp. No. Nope. <laughs> They're just having a little barking match. <laughs> oh, the, yeah. the whole entire corgi barking match. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Aya. I'm not gonna have my. Ow. Okay. Ow. Twenty-three to hit and ten total damage. Sir, I'll feed you in a bit. I am not prone. Okay. Yes, you are also prone. But it is also your turn, so. So I get back up. <laughs> so I didn't even bother marking it. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I'm, I'm back up. Uh -huh. I'm just not going to let my echo attack. I'm just going to attack the wolf in front of me. Okay. So, Habushk. 14 does hit. Habushk. Oh, <laughs> that's some hefty damage. It is barely standing at this point. Yeah, okay. I'm good. <laughs> You're not having your echo attack? Nope. Okay. I'm waiting. Okay. I can only have two. I, I, I have only one left, so I have to wait. Oh, it's right because it's based on your constitution modifier. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Mm. Uh, Auric, your turn. All right. Um, so I'm gonna cast a bane. Okay. On uh the big wolf that's attacking me, the one that's uh, a seer appeared pinned down, and uh okay, well that one's almost dead anyways. So, and, and the one that's playing chicken with with uh. <laughs> okay. With so Zylus. Big one with Zylus, yeah. down there. Okay. Yep. So what is your spell save DC? Fourteen. And I believe it's a charisma save, right? Yep, charisma. Big Wolf succeeds. Oh my succeeds. god. Succeeds. <laughs> the water on the Sierra fails. Wow. Cool. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> kind of hoping it wasn't that one. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, at least one of them, at least. Um, okay, and then I'm also going to use my bonus action to mm -hmm. cast, uh, yeah, Healing Word on, um, on Asira. Okay. So, just, oh, wait, no, that's not it. Got a... it, it probably has to be changed from within or something. 
but just roll d4 plus whatever your wisdom modifier is. Okay. Plus my proficiency modifier, so I think that would be oh, five. Oh, wis wisdom modifier. Wisdom, wisdom modifier. That would be seven. Okay, so I see I can spec seven hit points. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Is there no Bane token? I'm sure there is, I'm just not seeing it. But it's your turn. Asira. Give me one second here. Mm hmm. Um. I'm going to use my bonus action first to prep uh, Hail Thorns. Yes. And she's going to get up. Mm -hmm. And she's going to take aim at the big wolf again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, you know, he healed me. I'm going to go for that thing first. Because <laughs> that, will, that will help him out. Okay, so... Bow's action, Halo Thorns. It's action, eat. Yeah, that hits. So, it's... Halo Thorns. So, it needs to make the deck save. And if it succeeds, it takes half. And each creature within five feet of it also has to make the save. So, she, he's, she's aiming closer to the back end. But it... it but the, with the... But the, uh, the way a spell reads anything within five feet of the creature itself, not just where you hit it. So. Ah. Or it would be Auric and the Echo. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> As well. But uh, go ahead and roll damage for your longbow, so I can take, take that out real quick. And then I'll get to its dexterity. Ten! Save. Nice! So at least it would take fifteen. He must kill my echo. Could he could have just seen him? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to help you. <laughs> and then I tried to help you. Save. <laughs> it succeeds. It takes five. <laughs> and it takes the ten from the initial shot. Yeah, it took the. I already took away the ten from it and took five from the halo thorns. Sixteen. So you I also took five. <laughs> I oh I don't have as many health points as that wolf. <laughs> and you need to make a concentration check. <laughs> oh, okay, that's right. Is that a constitution save or wisdom? Yes. What is constitution it? save. <laughs> oh, I, oh you lose, my echo! Uh, you lose Bane. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> he wasted the spell slot for nothing. <laughs> This is insane. Oh, hey. Okay. Yes. That's right. So my echo also has to do. Yes, your echo also has to make the save. I am sorry, guys. 17. 17. Okay, I'm just double checking something. I will constantly continue to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> This is because oh. the player didn't read correctly. <laughs> reading? What's reading? <laughs> Clearly that's not a skill that most people have. <laughs> One of only two classes Orc actually did okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your echo's gone. <laughs> Regardless, because it still takes five damage. Ah. I was just checking oh. to see oh if... Uh, <laughs> The if band is deactivated. <laughs> he took tactic damage. The there echo goes is my gone. echo. And it only took five damage. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can still manifest another echo. Yeah, I can. No, but you can you can manifest as many echoes as you want, really. But you can only attack. It can only use the the unleash incarnation equal to your constitution modifier. That's right. Yep. Okay. Ma'am, please read. <laughs> <laughs> I normally do. Oh, this is a lesson. 
It's a lesson. <laughs> it's a lesson that we have to pay for. <laughs> At least not in real life. Oh, man. <laughs> Is that your turn, Asira? Uh, yeah. Action bonus action, yeah. Okay. It's gonna take a chomp at you. Let's see. No, that's no. a natural oh one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Victoria. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. Ultra spray. At, at what? That's <laughs> one. Okay. 14 hits. Takes six force damage right into Wait, its side. Yes. Doesn't she has she has agonizing blood? That's still not taking in her Oh it's not. And You're gonna what's have your, what's your Christmas modifier? It's four, so it should be yeah. another four. Is there that I have two sitting in here. So I... Okay. Craven, he has to go in there and fix that sheet. I'm aware of all the problems, okay? <laughs> I am one man trying to do 20 different things. <laughs> you can only do so much. Uh -huh. It's much easier for me to keep to say, okay, I'll just add the damage now and then start to try to fix the sheet. <laughs> yeah. I'm just pointing out that what I see. Yeah. Um, okay. I was, yeah, you know, you don't have any other invocations that are necessary. I think you have, yeah. what, Eldritch Spear and Agonizing mm -hmm. Blast. Yeah, which so. is, I, she can shoot farther. <laughs> <laughs> you can shoot farther and harder. <laughs> uh-huh. That's pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. Bonus section? I think that's it for me for now. Okay. Uh, big ol' wolf. Does he get back his acid? He does not. <laughs> so he'd say he's just gonna bite at Auric. Oh, thank God. <laughs> 14 still misses. <laughs> and then a bite at Xylus. Nope, that's the wrong sheet. Ignore that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. the wrong Ooh. sheet. It's a different attack modifier and everything. <laughs> uh, it mm. still hits. That still hits. Seven piercing damage, and he takes one acid damage. All right. And yeah, we have to make a strength save. Yes. That's. Wrong sheet. Um, I'll just do the strength. He is still standing. Uh, the one attacking. Uh, yeah, it's looking weak, but it's still gonna try. Ow. Sixteen hit. Yeah, it does. Take four. A total of five damage. That's literally ones on all the rolls. Man, you're still standing. And it is your turn. Bad. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, I'm still Ooh. summoning my echo again. Still same, in the same area. Same spot. Yep. Good thing I just removed it to the D to the GM player. <laughs> Or did you want to summon Echo first? Uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Okay. Auric. Okay. So, is Prayer of Healing something I can just use right now? Or... It is a 10 minute uh, time. It's an hour of combat yeah. thing you want to use. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep, 10 minute casting time. Alright, how much health does I have? I don't know, you have less health than her still. <laughs> okay. Um. 
Ah. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> We're none of us are good. I mean, I guess I'm in the most danger because the big thing wants to kill me. I should be okay because I have second wind. That's you. Know, I keep forgetting you're a fighter. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I'm just gonna cast cure wounds on myself. <laughs> yes. Okay. Do oh. please. Holy yeah. shit. We don't want the healer to go down. <laughs> It doesn't like me. It's it was smart. It went after the healer. <laughs> Can I? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, it was smart. It went after you. <laughs> That's not a lot of hit points, but <laughs> fair nothing. It's something, I guess. <laughs> Resurrection. Uh, do I want to use my bonus action? You know what? No. You know, I'm not. <laughs> okay. I think it might be more for <laughs> Yeah. Just gonna hold it for a moment. <laughs> Hunker down. I'm just gonna hope to God that everyone else is somehow able to kill their wolves first. Okay. And then it's... maybe they can help me with this one. It's zero. Well, That's I try right. to keep them alive. Um, can I just do a quick free... Uh, free act... Uh, free action? What's the free action? Arc move. <laughs> just tell him to move. Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, he's gonna get hit again. <laughs> he's gonna do it again. Wait, she just put her echo up again. Well, I, I can do a different thing. I can go for the one with Silas then, at least. I love how your mindset is. I'm going to destroy everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's the help the healer. Okay, healer got hurt. Uh <laughs> healer also does not want help because you will <laughs> not help him whatsoever. You're helping, but you're helping with pain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um so I'll just aim for this one then. Okay. The one in front of Xylus. Alright. Because it's still up. It's up for a minute. Uh, 14. 14 just hits. Alright. Do I need to re-roll the... Um, hold on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Halo of Thorns and other smite in smite attacks. They last until you hit a creature, and then the spell automatically ends. Or okay. until you lose concentration, whichever comes first. So, you don't have Halo of Thorns up, because it's already mm. did something. <laughs> Ready? Uh, nine, and Silas is going to take a chomp. Go for it. Twenty-three for Xylus. He actually bites something. <laughs> Amazing. For a D six plus two. For five damage. Nice. This wolf is very hurt. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. You yep. You kid? Five. Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's your turn? Um. She's gonna, um, use bonus action. Give Xylus a command to move up slightly to help Auric as best as he can. Okay. Um, still stay within the threatening range of this one here. He's moving up. Fair enough. And just trying to look threatening. <laughs> <laughs> hey, little friend. Ow. <laughs> just big hiss. <laughs> All right. Get him. Knowing fully well, this could end very badly for him. <laughs> hey, your turn? Yes. Okay. The one behind you is going to... Bite you. <laughs> That's fine. No, 
it's not. That's a no. Oh. <laughs> they rolled a natural one. <laughs> Again. Right, Victoria, your turn. I am going to continue sniping. From in here. That's the same one I've been... Fourteen does hit. That is twelve damage. <laughs> it is something. No, it's more than something. It is. You managed to down this one completely. It just falls oh. over. <laughs> I helped. <laughs> yes, you, you you actually got first blood. Actually. <laughs> Don't you have a form of dread or something? Let me see. How, how do you do your form of dread? Is that an action or a bonus action? That's a bonus action. You can manifest your form of dread. Huh? Yeah, does that work? Uh, as a bonus action, you transfer from one minute. You gain temporary hit points equal to one d ten plus your warlock level. Once per turn, when you hit a creature with an attack, with an attack roll, you can force it to make a wisdom save. If it fails, it's frightened of you until the end of your next turn, and you're immune to the frightened condition. Oh, I'm standing over the year. <laughs> hmm. But it's entirely up to you. Well, for now, I'll do it next turn when I'm actually attacking something. <laughs> okay. And it's your turn, then. Does he get back his acid? He does not. Thank God. He's going <laughs> to bite down at you. <laughs> it doesn't work, thank God, again. <laughs> He's just barely missing each time. <laughs> I'd imagine like like or like shove this shield in his mouth it's like no 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 The acid drips. <laughs> panic intensifies. <laughs> Alright. Less panic, more this guy's an asshole. <laughs> Get away this from me. This wolf is gonna bite Xylus. If I can click on it. No. No he is not. <laughs> it doesn't do jack shit. The one in front of Aya is going to attempt. Yeah, seventeen hits. Six piercing and one acid to one acid damage to Aya. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Yes, that's the cuckoo clock. And Aya also make a strength save. Hmm. For seven, got it. Ugh. Still standing. And it is your turn. Oh fuck! I closed the game by accident. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use second wind. All right. Oh wow, you get back. Wait a minute. Hmm. That ain't right. <laughs> That seems a little high. The, it? It's supposed to be 1d10 plus your fighter level. Yeah. Yeah, 1 is going be 12. So. so it should be 12, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's still... That's still, still good. Yeah. That's still good. That's still really good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I did a 4. I did 3. <laughs> Thank I you. Know, I don't know. Something went wrong. Mm. And then... Pata. 21 hits. I'm not even going to have your old damage. It only has one hit point. <laughs> yeah, so it's dead. <laughs> it just drops. Oh. Let me give you a second to put everything back in the order. <laughs> How many hit points does little Xylus have? Uh, Is... 12. Out of how many? 20. <laughs> okay, so Xylus is not. <sighs> we'll see. Actually, you should have a little bit more than 20, Actually, is but... That, is that correct? I'm, I'm double-checking. 
Huh? What? Xylus' health. Because it's the... Drake companion, there it is. It's 3d10 plus the that's... proficiency modifier. No, that's how many hit dice he has. Ah. Oh. His, yeah, his hit points is 5 plus 5 times your ranger level, so... Yeah, his hit, point, his hit points are right. He has a number of he has a number of hit dice for like short rest purposes equal to your ranger level. Yeah. But his hit <sighs> but his actual hit points are five plus five times your ranger level. I think that's why I put the three D ten there, because I wanted to remember that he had hit dice. <laughs> <laughs> Cause my brain is just scattered most of the time. Yeah. Anyway, are you going to move, or is that what you're doing, Aya? Um, yeah, it's, that's it. <laughs> okay. Auric. Alright, since the situation seems to have stabilized for the most part towards the eastern front, Auric's going to just try to stab this motherfucker, because he's an asshole who goes for cheap tactics, and I, I can't respect that. <laughs> Oh, you should be glad I removed their pack tactics. <laughs> We'd be dead, I think. <laughs> I was oh, like, yeah. no, they're a little mad. Yeah, yeah. It's like they're a little mad. I am giving them a boost to their damage. I'm going to remove pack tactics to make it balance. <laughs> uh, so fif- hit? fifteen does hit. Oh, okay. Amazing. Nice oh, okay. Ten, 10 slashing. slashing damage. He's hurt. But he's still vicious. I <laughs> Wait, your turn? Uh, yeah. Turn for now. Asira. Um. Give me a second here. Okay, um, she's gonna take another. She's gonna take a, a shot at this one over here. Okay. Again. Uh, yeah. nineteen. Yeah, that definitely hits. Nine. <laughs> another wolf drops. <laughs> Right between the eyes. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, Xylus is going to attempt to make a chomp at this one. Go for it. 24. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> <laughs> for three points damage. Take some mice. This chomp. Take a little three point <laughs> nibble. <laughs> Just a, a slight chomp on the front paw. <laughs> Take your turn. And yep. Okay, Victoria. I'm gonna do what I planned it the last round. Which was <laughs> uh, better one action I had that your f- I was your form of dread. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I'm curious. What does Victoria's form of dread look like? Oh. I don't think I thought that far. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just curious. <laughs> if you don't have anything, that's fine. <laughs> I was thinking more of like those vampire bats. Oh, so definitely like more like a more bat form. <laughs> yeah. But like. The just evil personified in a bat. <laughs> yeah, even look at that. <laughs> okay, roll d10. You gain seven temporary hit points. And you can use your action for whatever you're going to do. Alright. I'll 
Dog. It's a big lie. Go. Oh, Oof. no. So oh, what? Oh, my gosh. How many net ones? <laughs> it's like the biggest How thing many? <laughs> I don't think that's four. Has, has everyone... At, at, yeah, everyone I'm, has I'm rolled on that one at least once this session, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I oh, started off... God. I could hit the small thing, the small ones. Well, yeah, it's a big one target like for this. Me. <laughs> one for Angela. Yeah, no, I think literally everyone has gotten. <laughs> That's actually two for Elena because her initiative was one. Oh, too, yeah. So. <laughs> so there's at least five or six in here. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's a lot of net ones today. <laughs> and yeah. this time I'm. So I'm sorry. On both Ari. sides. It's on, it's on both sides as well. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, look, Jing Yuan was really cool, alright? I'm sorry I used everyone's <laughs> luck to get him. I, I mean, won't brag I, ever again. I got him too, don't worry. <laughs> oh yeah, I know I, I saw that actually. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Victoria, you're gonna move or are you done? <laughs> I, I'm gonna move a little bit. Okay. Where are you moving like, to? Moving closer. There. A bit there. All right. She's the, like, I missed the first time. Maybe I won't miss next time. <laughs> Alright, this wolf does not get his acid back. That's three twos in a row on his recharge. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just gonna bite Auric. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you! Fuck you, you stupid ass dog. <laughs> Hey, Aya. <laughs> Tis on you. Uh, okay. Wolves in. And then attack. 13 just misses. And then echo attacks. 21 hits. How do you want to do this? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I guess for I for I regularly just you know for Ted's like I guess for Ted's to miss, but really her echo does the damn. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the whole girl look cross. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean now. <laughs> yeah. Like Aya comes in for like, a, a faint attack, but the echo is yep. the one coming uh... in with the actual strike. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a pretty cool image. And with that. The wolf falls, gargling, and acid spilling out of its body, slowly dissolving its body away, along with the other wolves. Not a pleasant smell. And with that, I will have to end it there for tonight, as the battle calms down. Victory! Woo! That we can deal with. A s- <laughs> Cheap tactic wolf. Asira will uh will apologize to both Auric and Aya. Um, <laughs> she has never actually hit that spell before. <laughs> and the one time she does, she hits allies. <laughs> yes, she will apologize. Okay. <laughs> Auric would just laugh it off. It's okay. <laughs> Mistakes happen, and uh, we're all alive, so... <laughs> <sighs> he's looking at his shield with all the, like, dent and, like, acid marks. I was like... <laughs> uh, uh. But, yep. Hope everyone enjoyed watching that. But yep. We, a couple of us have to get going. Yeah. Yeah. I do have to go do something yeah. soon. <laughs> yeah. So... Bye, me! Bye-bye! Bye. Bye, everyone. Come Bye. back next Tuesday. Bye.